here with Kuba at the Chaosium Press Preview Stand at UK Games Expo 2024. Kuba, what are you showing us today? What is this amazing looking thing? Well, this little tiny box This contains... tiny little... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, well that's Horn on your Express, the, the board game. Horn on the Express is one of the most famous uh, campaign scenarios for Call of Cthulhu role-playing game. Yes. And uh, we decided, Chaos, that, hey, why not to make it into a board game? Yeah. So we asked these marvelous designers, Adam Kwapinski and Michal Gambiowski, who did games like Nemesis, Nemesis yeah. Postman, Destinies. Yeah, we know. And we asked them to design this game, and they did. So this is a fully cooperative game, no hidden traitors whatsoever, and your job is to survive the trip of this little train that has been captured by the cultists and uh -huh. goes through Dreamlands, magical realm of Dreamlands, and you have to learn the true identity of six suspects you'll have on the train. Oh, cool. You can know if they're a cultist or non-cultist. So there's a bit of deduction, like a clue kind of thing yeah, into yeah, that, yeah, yeah. but just one of the mechanisms. The game will try to kill you all the time, though. <laughs> if you run out of monsters, yeah. you lose. If any of your characters run out of their sanity, you lose. If you run out of those essence tokens, you lose. And if too many of your passengers get killed and end up in those little coffins, you're done. Wow. Yeah. Cool. So the passengers are represented by dice, yeah. but you don't roll them, you just flip them to the side, you happy, the calm, right. ah. or scared, or angry, That's great. wounded, insane, and so on. That's cool. Um, so during the game you'll be discovering many new uh, narrative paths, uh, there are those cards which are like paragraph cards that will tell you new stories every time. Nice. You'll have, you, every game you'll draw another one, so you never know what's on the other side. You'll meet new events. There, there'll be like new events. Uh, there is a vampire which hides behind the curtains of the train. If you look here, if you look here, there yeah, is a vampire here. Behind but if, if you close the curtains, so if they're open, <laughs> you can see him or not. I love that. And uh, so there is a lot going on here. There is a ritual that the cultists are trying to perform. You'll be gathering new items like the Necronomicon, and so you'll be able to. Uh, cast some spells, <laughs> lots, lots of moving pieces, lots to take in, but you can play this game in about two, two and a half hours if you okay. play it to its full extent. You can easily lose in 40 minutes yeah. as well. <laughs> sure, sure. But the game, I would say that it's like Pandemic Plus when it comes to heaviness, like, like how okay. hard is it to win? I would say that by your fifth, sixth game, you should win it. You should win something. Yeah. 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 And okay. uh, so this is, we kickstarted it in April. We're now uh, with Late Pledge on GameFow, and we will release it at Gen Con 25, so next year. And um, ah, yeah, that's cool. The game. So uh, the campaign is closed now, but you can still Late Pledge, you say? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kickstarter is done. Uh, it was on Kickstarter. Now we move to GameFound with the Late Pledge. It's open till the end of August this year. Cool. When's the anticipated delivery for the? Uh, for so the game? we're planning to deliver it at Gen Con 25. Oh, sorry, next year. that's literally going to be delivered then. Yeah. Fantastic. This sounds amazing. I love a difficult co-op game, and this looks like it's doing some really unique, interesting things. I love the deduction element as well. Yeah. I think there's not enough of like just pure deduction in games. Yeah. I think that's absolutely tremendous. Matt is shaking with excitement behind the camera right now, thinking about this game, especially with the vampire behind the curtains. That's incredible. Hope you're using out of focus then. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> It's amazing. Kuba, thank you so much for showing this game off. My pleasure. We wish you the best of luck with it, and we can't wait to see the final version. Thank you. If you like this stuff, please hit the subscribe button, check out the rest of the stuff, and we'll catch you again real soon.